present uh, one of my research uh, results on the competitiveness. In particular, leisure competitiveness index of 66 countries in the world. I'm hopeful that uh, every one of you and your country is represented in my database. Well, first let me start uh, with the reason why uh, I have conducted this study on uh, leisure competitiveness index. Korea, that I represent, together with my colleagues here, has been very poor in leisure activities. Take, for example, uh, well, let me start with the kinds or the forms of leisure that have been enjoyed by Koreans in Korea. In the old days, movie was a uh, predominant form of leisure activity. Slide, oh, this one, okay. All right, uh, movie was predominant. I think it was the same in other countries. But in more recent years, in the last 20 years, it has become television, and more recently, more recently it is a computer, all kinds of computer games. Uh, but then, take uh, this one, that is the rest, doing nothing. That has become as a predominant form of leisure as watching television. I guess this is the same in other countries as well. But then, uh, the level of satisfaction by Koreans on their leisure activities. Well, those who declare that they are doing no leisure, uh, at least 20%. And then those who claim that they are doing very little leisure activity is more than one third. So together with these two, more than half of Koreans do not seem to be enjoying enough of leisure. Okay. And those who say that they have enough of leisure are only one quarter. But now the reasons why uh, this uh, level of satisfaction from leisure is very poor. Well, they say that financial reason, as well as lack of time, especially for those who are less fortunate in their education level. Well, throughout these years, they say that the, the primary reason why they're not enjoying leisure are because of lack of money and lack of, uh, lack of time. But then even among those who are well-to-do with their education, uh, well, in the old days, it was predominantly because of lack of time, but now the financial reason is moving up. So now in uh, more recent time, uh, money has become the factor in, uh, though, uh, as the reason for not enjoying enough of leisure. Well, Korea is famous or notorious for long hours. Just look at this. Among the 30 OECD countries, Korea is number one in terms of hour of work that they uh, spend in the work for uh, in the workplace. Uh, on average, uh, they are spending a little bit less than 2,400 hours, while in most other countries it is less than 2,000. So Korea is uh, showing that they are spending more time in the workplace than in other countries. Well, more specifically, Koreans spend more than 50 hours per week, while in other countries, only 40 hours. And then the leisure time is only 30 hours, compared to, on average, 38 hours. So as a result, Koreans are spending 10 hours or more in the workplace while spending uh, eight and a half hours less than in other countries. Well now, 
the problem is that Korea is rapidly moving from labor-centered society toward leisure-centered society. And now we are in a transitionary period. And especially because of the reason why, uh, because of the reason that uh, Korea is rapidly aging, as well as birth rate in Korea is the lowest in the world, with only one person per uh, lady, as well as bipolarization in society, uh, income disparity, as well as others. So now, the point uh, uh, for us is uh, in two aspects. That is, we have to measure where we are. And as a, reason, uh, as a way to measure uh, our level, I have created uh, so-called leisure competitiveness index. Well, we know that without measurement, there will be no improvement. So uh, measuring this leisure competitiveness index of Korea, as well as other countries, uh, is one way for us to see where we are. And then uh, the second one is for us to develop what we should be doing. And leisure-related policies should naturally emanate from this measurement of leisure competitiveness index. Well, in Korea, there is a uh, report called IPS National Competitiveness Report. This is one of three major reports on national competitiveness, along with Swiss-based IMD, as well as another Swiss-based organization called WF, both of which are uh, publishing national competitiveness report. And this IPS competitiveness report was started eight years ago, and it is using 66 countries as its database. And there are nine major factors and 275 sub-factors. Uh, one half is from the uh, published uh, database, and the other half, 138 factors are uh, collected from questionnaires uh, from 66 countries. And the theoretic base of this competitiveness report is a famous diamond by Michael Potter, uh, which was published in 1990. Well, what it means is there are four major factors that will determine the level of competitiveness of a nation. The first one is uh, factor conditions, or uh, in the case of leisure, I have translated to leisure productivity, composed of time and money. And the second one on the, on the top is political social foundation. That is the kind of business context. And then the third one is leisure related industries and foundation. And the final one is leisure consumption. The consumers are a very important factor in determining the level of competitiveness of any nation. So using these four uh, factors uh, that I have translated from Michael Porter's diamond, I've started, um, I've sort of uh, identified 44 fact sub-factors out of 275 original factors uh, that were in the IPS National Competitiveness Report. These 44 come from, uh, nine of them are coming from productivity-related factors, and 10 of them from labor, uh, leisure consumption-related factors, and 13 from industries, and 12 from political social uh, foundation. So using these 44 uh, sub-factors, I've come up with uh, the index. Before, I'm sh uh, before I show the, the result of this, uh, let me tell you how I group the countries. We believe that uh, companies, uh, countries do not compete with other countries in the world. The countries compete among and between countries that are similar in their nature. So uh, I've used two criteria. One is the size of the country that is composed of population and the size of land. So by these two criteria, I've grouped 66 countries to three categories, small countries, medium-sized countries, and large-sized countries. 
And then in terms of economic competitiveness, I've again uh, divided the whole group to three, strong countries, intermediary countries, and weak countries. And the result is nine uh, groups of company, countries from strong and small countries to weak and large countries and weak, small countries and so on. Now, uh, the le uh, leisure competitiveness index of eight strong medium countries. Well, the reason is uh, Korea belongs to these medium-sized countries and relatively strong, but weaker than other strong countries. There are eight countries that are belonging to this strong and medium uh, group of countries. That is Sweden, England, France, Norway, New Zealand, Finland, Taiwan, and Korea. And among these eight countries, the LCI, which is Leisure Competitiveness Index ranking, is that Sweden is number four out of 66 countries, England number six, France number nine, Norway 11th, New Zealand 13th, Finland 17th, Taiwan 22nd, and Korea 23rd. And then uh, I've subdivided uh, this rank by four factors. In terms of leisure productivity, uh, Korea ranks number 40, or eighth among the eight countries in, uh, belonging to the strong medium nations, while Sweden, uh, while Norway is leading the pack, closely followed by Sweden in this uh, factor of leisure productivity. And then in terms of leisure consumption, the level of consumers, well, among the eight countries, Sweden tops, uh, but number six overall, while Korea is quite close to Sweden, number eight. So in Korea, uh, consumers are probably strongest, are the strongest among the four uh, factors. And then leisure-related leisure industries, France is number one among these eight countries and number three overall, while Korea is ranked number 19. And then political social foundation-wise, Sweden again tops the other seven countries, overall number three, then Finland and Norway and so on. Korea is very uh, poor uh, with uh, the eighth among the eight countries and 46th among 66 countries. So you can see uh, where Korea is strong and where Korea is weak. Well, namely, among, as, among the consumers, uh, the level of consumers are quite good, but in other three aspects, not good enough. Then let me compare the national, overall national competitiveness uh, ranking versus uh, national leisure uh, competitiveness ranking. The one on the left is overall national ranking, and the one on the right shows leisure competitiveness ranking. Well, Netherlands tops both chart, and then USA, and then Canada, uh, which is number three in overall national competitiveness ranking, uh, is down low. Uh, in, in number 15th in leisure-related competitiveness. But I guess with this uh, hosting of World Leisure Congress next year, the level of Canada will move up. <laughs> yeah. uh, compared to uh, Canada, England, uh, for example, is number 12 in terms of national competitiveness ranking, but it is up on the 6th in leisure competitiveness ranking. I believe Mr. Casey, who is the chairperson of World Leisure Congress, has contributed to moving up UK at least a few levels. Korea is uh, incidentally ranked number 23rd in both charts. Although there are some differences uh, depending on which countries uh, you are in, but overall, there, uh, uh, there is a very close rela relation between overall national competitiveness and uh, leisure competitiveness. Uh, well, there is a uh, di diagonal line, and that shows the uh, regression line, 
and the one, uh, those, the countries that are to the left and up are the countries that are stronger in overall national competitiveness ranking than le uh, leisure related competitiveness. While those countries that are on the right and down show that leisure is stronger than overall. And then, well, sure. What this shows is, again, uh, Korea is uh, represented by blue line, while red line represents the average of eight strong and medium-sized countries. And here Korea shows relative strength in le leisure consumption and quite okay with leisure-related industries, but they're very poor in political social foundation as well as leisure productivity. So these two areas are what Korea should be doing to improve the overall level of leisure uh, competitiveness. So policy recommendation. Well, it's imperative that there should be a balance in work and leisure. Although people say work and uh, life, I've changed it to work and leisure balance. Korea is in a transitionary period from labor-centered society toward leisure-centered society. And leisure-related policy is a national priority. And then, World Leisure Congress that we are going to host in 2010 will lay a cornerstone for Korea's leisure-related policies. Well, guess what this means? WWW at Korea. What that means is <laughs> WWW Korea means that we warmly welcome all of you to Korea, <laughs> the future land of Korea, in the year 2010, the 11th World Asia Congress. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. It was great. Alors, nous avons tous eu nos bulletins. You know where you sit now in the well. Uh, so we will have, I will ask Archie to say what we have to do now. Alors voilà, mesdames, messieurs, qui termine cette première partie de ce panel international. C'est maintenant le temps de la pause café. La pause café vous sera servie au foyer du niveau 400. So it's now your uh, break. It is, uh, the coffee will be served in the 400 hall. And just please note, uh, vous avez exactement 30 minutes. Il est 10h41. I would like to see you all back right here in 30 minutes. Please be sharp on this. We, we only got 30 minutes for this coffee break. OK? Merci beaucoup tout le monde, vous revenez dans une trentaine de minutes pour le début de cette deuxième partie.